coming around and parking. <laughs> okay. Hey everybody, Wolfie here. And Jeanette. For a change. <laughs> and dog. <laughs> Mail mail call time. We got a Easter package for the pups from Pat and Lou up in Ottawa, and we're gonna do the opening of stuff. Hopefully the little mongrels behave themselves. Wow, it's kind of a bright on the camera. <laughs> that is bright on the camera. Damn you, Malou. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so. We'll start with stuff that ain't wrapped up here for the pupper dogs. We got some Purina One treats. These ones are bites with chicken. Mm. I'm sure they're going to eat them no problem. And these ones are the Nature's Recipes. They do, they do eat them. Yeah, Chewy Bites, so. Chicken, Sweet Potato, and Apple Recipe. Oh, it's dinner. <laughs> and well, they're stocked up on milk bones. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> gravy milk bones, that. Ooh, gravy ones. You guys love the gravy ones. Two right boxes of the gravy milk bones. Holy crap! Yeah, one for each house. That works perfect. <laughs> do, do, do they come with diet plans? Malou. <laughs> okay, here's Ellie's oh. present, and I got Alex's present. This one's up. for Ellie. It's pretty pink, this your favorite them, color. This will keep them busy. What's this one? Is this Hi. one your friend Malou? Is that for Ellie? Look, there's your that? name. What is that? You're just going to lick it. Oh. Hi, what's in there? He wants that one. <laughs> Hi, this is Mommy. Alex, come here. You can have this right now, bud. Ooh. Grandpa get, can get into it. It's a pork. You gotta get the plastic off. <laughs> Almost lost a finger. It's a pork femur uh, bone. I Poor la chien. I don't have one with a microphone. Oh no? How did you? Oh, oh yes, I do. There it is. Ouch. Oh. Well, they made sure they were nice and safe and Yes, they're definitely well wrapped. <laughs> what is it? What is it? I'm trying, Ellie. <laughs> Oh, I got a slit down one side. Six hour video just opening the bone. Come here, Alex. Huh. Can you go by. Oh. So he tries to put it on the table. Okay. I got one end off. You're going to have to cut that. You want the crown? <laughs> Wow, they really went all out packaging these things. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want the couch now? We're all on it. You gotta go somewhere else. You don't care. <laughs> you come in. Okay. I think she likes it. Oh, <laughs> I'm sitting here. So that's Alex and Ellie's gift. And there's one here for you. Uh huh. With a card from Malou. And one for me with a card from Malou. Malou's box is the way. It says, Happy Easter, Jeanette. My daddy has been eating a whole foods, plant based diet. He says everything good and healthy comes from plants. So here's some fancy vegetables. Love Malou. No, I'm afraid. <laughs> Very cute packaging though. Mine. And Malou, of course. And mine. Happy Easter, Wolfie. Emergency supplies for the cabin. That always makes me laugh. Emergency supplies. For the tummy. 
Very cute. <laughs> yeah. And once again with the cute little picture of Malou on it. Okay, so we'll get these open. There's a can of eggs on the front. You got one too. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Pins. Little. Good thing she spotted them. Little maple leaf pens. I almost didn't. I need a new one for my good desk anyway. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Malou taped the thingy on and I can't get it off. <laughs> Okay, so. Ooh. Now I think Malou should work at the mall at Christmas time. She's quite the packer. <laughs> You're loud. Oh, there are crumbs everywhere. <laughs> What do you got? I got cookies. Ooh, shortbread. Oh, I don't know what I got. I love shortbread cookies. I haven't gotten that for you. I got chocolate. How is this plant-based? <laughs> Cocoa. Oh. Then I agree. Plant-based diet. Is that, is it, is that what is in there? Yes. I think that's it. If not, yeah. comment down below. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. shortbread cookie. Now I see why he says we have to share. Oh, that's not even half of it. Oh, you got more stuff. What do you got? Well, you open this one, and I'll open the other one. Oh, there's more? <laughs> I know what this is. I can see it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what this is too. Yeah. Get the bubble wrap off. <laughs> Malou. Burner tape. <laughs> Why are you growling? He's got his own over there. You go get yours. Your mama's got a huge mess. There we go, dear. I, can, I can't read the label, so I can just make out the lint uh, name. It's, a, it's a lint chocolate spread. This is dark. That is hazelnut. Oh. Yeah, both chocolate spread. Hear that? Ooh. Grandpa's got chocolate spread to go on his cookies. Something, <laughs> yeah. so, something you don't have already at the cabin. That's right. It's like it's going to make it to the cabin. Yeah. <laughs> Lou called that one for the cabin. Yeah, Where's right. Where's your phone? Oh, yeah. Thank you very much, Pat. Happy Easter to you and Lou. <laughs> off the edge of the table. Yes. Now, put that there. Would you, oh, your pin, put your card. My okay. pin's, yeah, right here with this. Okay. Okay, so that's the mail call part of the video. And to top, or to go with that, we've got an update on um, maple syrup. Could you go grab the two jars or bottles that are the fridge? Yeah. Um, the syrup harvest right. this year did amazing. Um, I got, I made two different grades of syrup. The first batch, which was my, um, tree tapping and syrup making video a, while, a little while back, a week, a couple weeks ago, I guess. Um, that's, uh, light syrup. I made a small batch of that. And that would be, well, there's half of it left, <laughs> um, plus a jar at the camp, uh, in the camp kitchen, back at the cabin, you can go through. And here's one of the small bottles from the second batch, which is a good dark syrup, very, very rich, very sweet. Um, 
I ended up with just over two liters, which was just past my goal for this year. So hopefully next year I'll be able to expand a little bit more and at some point this year build a good evaporator and stuff or separator. We'll um, see what happens. Yeah, we'll see how things go this year. It's been kind of hectic for everyone, so we're we're not excluded from that. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm an essential worker. I'm still working, so. And on top of that, we have the update from trapping season, which I've had to call early this year. Um, the auction fur auction house is an international business, so as everyone can guess, they're shut down. Um, they're not accepting hides or anything now. So I packed everything in a month early from trapping. But I did manage to get, let's see, six beavers. Uh, some, that real, some of them are really nice sized ones. Uh, two blanket beavers and one extra large, so just slightly smaller, which they're this big around, which they're almost four feet from nose to tail and about three feet wide I guess not about two and a half feet wide yeah two and a half feet for a blanket beaver I don't know the diameter um, it's big <laughs> um, Did the current any water? then uh, for those that trap the blanket they know with the blanket weaver sizing and it's somewhere around I think it's 65 to 70 inch or something like that 69 inches it's big it goes to blanket oh um, blanket is he no that one's not quite a blanket beaver um I got three smaller beavers like the medium sized ones I'll have a tanning video coming up very soon for that um, I do believe it'll be this coming Wednesday. Um, what's the date for Wednesday? The 10th? Something like that. No. Maybe the 8th. Uh, Monday's the 6th. So yeah, Wednesday be the 8th. Okay, so on April 8th, my video will be the tanning video. I'll warn everyone ahead of time. It's a long one. Um, it's over an hour, but it's the full tanning process from just after skinning until the finished product. Um, I may do that as a premiere video just for the heck of it. But then on top of that, we've got three otters, all nice sized ones. And I do believe it's 18 muskrats. A couple of them will be getting tanned um, to sell. And a couple of smaller size, like you're medium beavers, his. will be. You're not eating his. Um, tan to sell. Possibly one of the otters. But I guess that's about it for trapping. Well, and my fox. I can't forget my fox. That came off the trap line this year. You've shown that, right? Yeah. Um. I think so. Anyway. Yeah. You you talk to people, I'll grab that off the wall. I don't think anyone has seen the finished product. Yeah. After it got tanned. So I hope everyone's doing all right out there. Ellie really likes that bone clearly. Oh, look at that. You should eat the whole thing. So this would be my little fox hide, all finished up, turned out beautiful, I've still got to put the felt backing on them, just little front legs all the way down to the front paws, same with the back, he's got amazing color markings in him, okay, I'm really happy that he turned out, I did he's mess right. up at first, and lost the bottom of his tail, so he has no white tip to his tail. Lost probably three, four inches of his tail, because I screwed up. 
Show his cute little ears. Yeah, and he's got his cute little ears popped up. They were a pain in the butt to skin out, but I managed. Not bad for the first time I've ever caught one and skinned it, let alone canned one. So, turned out perfect. And Alex loves it. Because, well, he's the one that found it in the trap. <laughs> Finding crumbs. But I guess that's about it for the updates. Um, that's it for the unboxing. We got lot, all got lots of great treats now, thanks mm, to Pat nice. Malou. I say, where'd mine go? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I guess other than that, it's that's about it for the video. That's it. The dog's got their bones to chew on and fight over. She nurse. <laughs> They'll be fighting over them for days. <laughs> um, we gotta get all our other treats put away mm -hmm. before the dogs find them. Right, because they will also eat the food. Yeah. <laughs> so, everyone have a great night. Um, you're into the... She'll eat all the treats. <laughs> Everyone have a great night. We'll talk to you all soon. Bye, everybody.